Hello and welcome to Graphic Online's News in Brief. We start from Nkoko in the eastern region where the man seen in a viral video this week assaulting a work colleague at a financial institution has been convicted by a court. The incident happened at Nkoko in the eastern region. Aivo Eliklim was arrested on Tuesday, June 25th and arraigned the same day before the Nkoko District Court. He was charged with assault and he pleaded guilty. The court therefore convicted him on his plea and remanded him into police custody to reappear on Friday, June 28th. When Aivo Eliklim appeared before the Nkoko District Court on Friday morning, the sentence was deferred to Tuesday, July 2nd. Andrew Roberts reportedly attacked a 41-year-old Koko officer at a sin for Sioux in the central region on Tuesday dawn at his home. The inflated match had wounds on Lucas say, who was now on admission at a hospital. The robbers made away with a cash of 100,000 Ghana cities, two laptops and two mobile phones. The incident, according to the police, happened around 2 a.m. on Thursday at New Habitat, a suburb of Asin for Sioux. No arrests have been made. The mask robbers, numbering about four, were said to have attacked Osei in his sleep. According to some eyewitnesses, Osei shouted for help, and when they responded, they found him in a pool of blood and rushed him to the hospital. The police have since retrieved a machete and a scissors, believed to have been used for the attack. In the area of partisan politics, the information that Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe is going to be the running mate for the new patriotic party has generated a number of reactions this week. The latest to join the public discussion is the MPP member of parliament for Asante Achim North and the Apiakubi, who said Dr. Opoku Prempe is not his choice. If it was for me to choose, I would choose him. Why? He's not my preference. Me. He's not your preference. Yes. Dr. Matthew Poku, Frembe, is, Apia is saying that he is not my preference. But that doesn't mean that he is not qualified. Do you have a preference? However, the majority leader in parliament, Alexander Fenio Markens, thinks otherwise and has urged colleagues MPs to watch how they publicly express their opinion on the running mate choice. We have an election just ahead of us, and we should be mindful of how. We express certain views in the public space. So I would want to encourage colleague members of parliament that we are in this together. There is no perfect person in this world. The language we use, it, 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 it may not be helpful. So that is all my advice. Still in politics, former President John Dramani Mahama has been continuing with the stakeholders' engagement as part of his campaign. This week, he met with the leadership of the National Tenants Union, where he promised that he will build low-cost houses across the country as part of his plan to tackle Ghana's housing deficit when voted into power. The former president vowed that one of his legacies as president will be to develop social housing that is truly affordable and accessible for all Ghanaians. The NDC flag bearer also said his government will push for the rent control bill to be passed into law to prevent tenants from being unfairly burdened with paying more than one year's rent in advance. And again in politics, the founder of the Movement for Change, Alan Kodro Chamberton, has been explaining his great transformational plan based on which he is campaigning to be elected as an independent presidential aspirant. Mr. Chamberton launched his main campaign message and has indicated that when voted into office as president, he will lead a review of the current tax system to eliminate oppressive taxes that only seek to burden the average Ghanaian. Similarly, he said he would wage war on corruption that will protect already existing national revenue streams and encourage more Ghanaians to pay their taxes and contribute to Ghana's development while effectively mobilizing revenue. And before we go, we bring to you a brief from the ongoing ambulance case where yesterday a letter showing why the third accused person, Richard Jackpa, was dismissed from Ghana Armed Forces for unsatisfactory conduct was admitted into evidence. It was the Deputy Attorney General, Alfred Tia Yeboa, who entered the letter during a cross-examination of Jackpa. The letter included allegations of misconduct and breach of military protocols leading to his dismissal. Jackpa's lawyers had objected to the tendering of the letter and raised an issue of relevance. But the presiding judge, Justice Ifia Sewa Asaribuche, admitted the document into evidence. She said the witness had already acknowledged the document being tendered and has already said he can speak to it. She added that covering letters were official documents and will be admitted to prove credibility or otherwise. The dismissal letter, written and signed on behalf of the Chief of Army Staff by the late Brigadier General M.K. Jane Ahiaglo, the then commander of the Southern Command of the Ghana Armed Forces, had indicated that Richard Jakba had been released from service for unsatisfactory conduct 
that. Jakpa was then a lieutenant in the Ghana Armed Forces. After the court, NDC communications officer Sami Jemfi spoke to the media. This issue about his release letter from the military and why he was released from the military and all that are issues that will be strongly contested with evidence because Jakpa maintains that what they have brought to court is clearly fake, doctored and contrived. But all these issues have got nothing to do with the critical issues at stake. Did Ato Forsen have authorization to write those letters or not? His boss, the finance minister, Setepe, has come to court to say, I authorize him. They are saying that even though you say you authorize him, give us paper. How many ministers of state write letters to their deputies when authorizing them on a daily basis to, uh, 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 to take action or when delegating responsibility to them? Master, is that the standard practice? Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh and follow us on social media at Graphic Online Ghana on TikTok, Daily Graphic Ghana on Facebook and Instagram, and Graphic GH on YouTube and X. I am Mirabna Kova.